Hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Down in a Hole by Alice in Chains, one of my favorite bands. This is from their 1992 release, Dirt. Fantastic record, and they also did this on the MTV Unplugged in 1996. Big thing with this song, as in most Alice in Chains songs, is that it's in E-flat tuning. So you're going to need to tune all the strings of your guitar down a half a step. So low to high, tune E-flat, A-flat, D-flat, G-flat, B-flat, and E-flat. So the song is in A-flat minor. When I play an A minor chord, A minor, right? I'm going to refer to that as A minor, but remember, it's, it's not ringing out to the pitch of A minor. It's actually ringing out to the pitch of A flat minor because of the tuning. But we're just going to call it A minor because I don't want to be confusing. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways to play this song. I'm going to show you the way that they play it, you know, on the record. But I'm also going to show you how to play it if you just want to play it and get the fullest sound possible, like if you're just doing it for one guitar. And the song is very slow, and you have to remember that you don't want to rush this. It's really only about 49 beats per minute. So let me show you the chords that you'll need to play this song. Basically, two main progressions. The first uh, you'd need is A minor to a G5 chord to D major. And then another progression, like in the chorus, is going to be D minor. So you'll need D minor. Uh, C major and that G5 again. And on other chords you're gonna need to play the song, you're gonna need E major, you need an F major, also a G bar chord I play, and then go up another half step A flat major. You're also gonna need a C add 9 chord. I play that one with the open high E string and then a G6 chord. Again with that open high E string. And if you got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. As well as then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And please leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. And as far as structure for the song, it's a lot of the same repeated parts based on two progressions. And a lot of it is really just based on A minor, G5, and D. The intro to the song is basically he's playing this a minor chord to the G5 to the D and that's the song that's the main progression throughout most of the song that's the intro and the verses uh, and the pre choruses too is that same three chords but he arpeggiates it first in the intro and he does this hammer on on the A minor chord that's very trademark let me play you the three chords arpeggiated and then I'll go back and explain it So what you want to do is voice the A minor chord, but then take your first finger off. So it's kind of like an A suspended second chord. But he's only picking two of the strings. So you're going to pick the A string and you're going to pick the B string. But you're going to come down with your first finger, do a hammer on on that B string. That's the sound you want, right? That's how he's getting that. So once you do the hammer on, then you're going to arpeggiate by coming up the string. So start on the G string after the hammer. G string, straight up uh, the D and the A, then go back to the B, G, and D strings, and you do those straight up. On the A minor chord, you get this. Okay, then switch to that G5 chord, but again, the first time you hit this chord, and the first time you're going to do this for the D chord, the next chord too, is you just hit the high E and the B, the high E and the low E strings, just those two. Then come up B and G string. So you do that two notes picked together, high E and low E, while you're holding the G5, then B string, G string. Then voice the D chord, and on the D chord the two notes you pick are the open D string and the high E string while you're voicing the D chord. And you pick those two, and then again come right up the strings, and this time B, G, D. So you get this other D. Alright, so if you put all three together of those slowly, you get this. Hammer, then pick. G5, D. And you play that four times through the progression, and that's the intro. Now you could play that in the verses when he comes with the bury me softly in this womb part too, but you would play that eight times for the verses, and you could do the arpeggiating. Now if you want it to sound a little bit more fuller, Maybe if you're if you're just playing it by yourself, you could still do it, but with strumming, 
right? And we're going to do the hammer on. Let me play it a couple times with a strum pattern, and you get this. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. I'm hammering on, but I'm strumming the whole chord. And then the pattern I'm doing is that down hammer, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, down on the G, up, up, down, up on the D. So slow. Down, hammer, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you could do that for the verses to kind of make it sound a little bit more full. And hit the whole chord while you're picking it, right? And that will make it more fuller also. might want to do that. There's a couple of options for you depending on your instrumentation to keep the song as full as possible. And if you're having some trouble with uh, the bar chords in this song or bar chords in general, I could really help you with that. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you my essential bar chord playing and changing video lesson and ebook. It's a killer combination. It's an extended play video lesson. It's not on YouTube. It contains tons and tons of technique tips for playing bar chords and changing bar chords packed with exercises. The ebook has more exercises in it, more chord charts, more lessons. It's a killer one-two punch that will really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. So the verses go into what I'm going to call the pre-chorus and that's the down in the hole and I don't know if I can be saved. Okay, let me show you. I'll play first what they're doing on the record and then uh, we'll take it from there. It'll sound like this. do that eight times. So let me explain what I'm doing uh, there and then I'll show you a way where you could do that and make it sound fuller if you want to. So what you're going to do is you're just going to play the A and the D strings and play these little two note double stops. So you're going to finger the ninth fret on the D string with the open A. Then finger the tenth fret. All this is with the open A string. Ninth fret, tenth fret, open A. Then go back to the ninth fret and the open A together. Then seventh fret and open A together. So you get, and I put a little vibrato on that with the seventh uh, fret. Okay, and then you hit the seventh fret and A string again, so you do it twice, and then I hit three strings open, the A, D, and G. So that part. Then I go to the G5 chord. And you're going to hit that with a down, up, down, and then the D, up, up, down, up. So on the G5, down, up, down, D, up, up, down, up. That part's slow. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's down in a hole. I don't know if I could be saved, right? That pre-chorus. And you do that eight times. If you think that sounds a little empty because you have no one else playing with you, that part there, you could just strum the chords. Again, in that part, it's just A minor, G5, and D. And you could play it like that. So you could just do like a uh, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So you could do that. I like showing you all of the parts, and this way you could pick and choose. So the pre-chorus goes into the chorus section, the down in a hole, losing my soul, down in a hole, losing control, I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. So let me play that part for you. First I'll do it the way they do it on the record, and then I'll show you a, a fuller way you could do it just for solo arrangement, but that part will sound like this.
And that chorus goes back into another pre-chorus, down in a hole, and they put all the stones in their place. Okay, so what is he doing in the chorus? Um, let me show you the first parts. That's over the down in the hole, losing my soul, down in the hole, losing control. The first six chords are the same that you did in the pre-chorus, this. Right, and that's where we're going. Open A string with the 9th fret, 10th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 7th fret again, and then you hit the open E, A, and D, open A, D, and G strings. But here's where it changes. Then you, you voice that C add 9 chord, and you play this C add 9 chord. I usually play like just the low 3, or you can even do the little 4 strings. And then high E and B string, because you want to ring out that open E and then B. Then change to that G6 chord, and you just play like the low three strings on that chord, and then you come up with the high three strings. So really slow. So you play that part four times, and that's over the down in the hole, losing my soul, down in the hole, losing control, and then the I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. That part, you're gonna play a series of chords, but it follows the vocal melody, so for a lot of them, you're only hitting the chord once. So it's D, I, E, like, F, two, and then I go to C, fly, and then we're gonna strum a little bit. To G, and I use the bar chord. You're on that G bar chord and you stay on it, but my wings, when he goes to wings, you're going to change, go up a half step, same voicing up a half step, so that's an A flat major, and you play the A flat major uh, wings, go back to G, have, go down a whole step to F, bin, so, so it's two hits on the F, bin, so, and then deny G, back to the G bar, duh, deny, you're back to the A minor for night. Slow that part. And when you go back to that A minor, you're going to do the A minor, the G, and the D two times. You could strum it, you can arpeggiate, but you want to do it two times. Then it goes back into the pre-chorus, down in a hole, and they put all their stones in their place. Now again, if you think going to this part for that chorus is it's a little too empty. So what you could do over that part, much like the previous part, is you could strum it, but here the chords would be D minor for that uh, down in a hole, C, G5. So it would be down in a hole, losing my soul, right? D minor, C, G5. You do it four times. So the strum pattern for that, you could use the same strum pattern that we used in the pre-chorus. So you could just do down, up, down, up, up, down on the first chord, the D minor, and then uh, go to the C, up, up, down, G5, up, up, down, up. Same strum pattern as before, all three of them together. that four times. That's all the parts and then it just repeats chorus, verse, chorus, same progressions again and at the end they just kind of do like the intro again where they're playing that A minor right to G5, D and then I would just end the song just strum the A minor once, let it ring and that's it. You have the whole thing. I hope you like that lesson. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel. Uh, enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. And don't forget to click on that link in the YouTube description box to get my free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing technique tips. It's a killer lesson and ebook. I'll send it to you for free. Just click below.
And if you want to check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. It's a slamming record. I'm stoked about it. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to all of that below also in the YouTube description box. Check it out. And if you have any questions on the songs or maybe the gear I used or the studio production, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for checking out this video and for your support over the years and years. So appreciate it. Stay tuned. Tons more killer lessons coming soon. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson. Yeah.